Okay, welcome to Crane Crew. I'm Don from Flashkids. It's Tom from Flashkids. I'm Tom from Flashkids. And Hunter. I wonder who I am. Lee Canyon. Huh? Yeah, I wonder too. Hunter from Flashkids. Mm -hmm. I wonder who, How's it I wonder, going, hey, buddy? I wonder who this guy is, huh? Who's this guy hanging no. up here? Huh? Nobody, he's, nah. nobody he's, uh, can tell. He was in Tropic Thunder. Danny McBride. Robert there Danny Jr. There he is. Robert Danny Jr., that's right. In, in <laughs> that's blackface. You look, like. you look like Robert Downey Jr. in blackface. Uh. Oh, my birthday. Today's my birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, you didn't already say I saw, I started to him on Discord. He oh, sent okay. to me a message. Unlike, was that, was, unlike some other people in the room. Was that like a power play? No, I was going to Oh, you didn't say it already, huh? No, no I, mean, I haven't said it Beat either. you to it, did I, huh? I, I didn't even know if I was going to say it. I was deciding. Oh, so. you didn't know if you were going to say happy birthday to Hunt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Don, so. I... Uh, with that little cute remark trying to harsh my birthday vibe was let me tell you something. I was watching a certain film called Lord of the Rings this morning and I came across quite quite the uh quite the revelation, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> and the revelation I found was that do we show do we show the image or do what do I just do I just describe it? I, Tom, you know Tom was here for this. See, look at Don. He's D like, he's like, what's going on? What is choice. this? <laughs> look at him. <laughs> All right. Well, I was sitting there this morning. I was watching Lord of the Rings, and of course, Don's like, I told him, I was like, oh, breakfast and extended Lord of the Rings. And of course, you know, Tom immediately can't just be like, oh, I love Lord of the Rings. He has to be like, I have extended edition. Wrong choice. That is right. Uh, theatrical released is based, based in, in Red, Red Pilled. Pilled. <laughs> yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> so I sat there, and um, I was like, you know what part I always remember uh, was in Return of the King when it's like the part where it shows Smeagol transitioning into Golem. And uh, I was like, that one part where it's like the hybrid Golem is crawling through the tunnel. I was like, that's exactly what Don's face looks like every time he's on this podcast. <laughs> and I'm putting it up in the Discord chat here for you. And uh, I, could, I, I couldn't I couldn't even uh, begin to... I, I, there's no way I could, I could hold my laughter. It was, it, it was, so that's, that's, that's what I get to look at every time in Discord here. Is this the, what's <laughs> <laughs> this do like that? He's got those beautiful green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> those big, big, glassy green eyes. I was sitting there looking at it and I'm like, sunken in eyes. Looks like a fucking, looks like a fucking, uh... No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not denying the resemblance. <laughs> so I'm buggy, not sunken in. You were, but in that, you, you but, were like, how, how's the dogs? And then you posted that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget I said that. Hey, how's, how are the dogs doing? <laughs> oh. For the, for the context, uh, if you didn't listen to the last episode, Don s literally stole someone's dogs, probably a federal <coughs> crime, it's and they're it's pregnant. It's turned into a, a lot of quite the headache. moral moral quandri quandary, huh? That's where, that's where we're at. They're still in the garage. I feel like <laughs> you garage. work at building the Don mythos. I want to. I want You're to like, go how out. am I going to extend I want, this I want to go out and today? say for all, well, my, no, no, for no, all this, my Midwest this, boys, this, this, this garage him. is clean. This is a clean garage. You have to understand that in the Midwest, garages are filthy. They're covered in fucking car oil, just like trash all over the place. I'm sure Don's garage is probably just full of wood and probably a, a nice cozy space for these dogs to stay. I don't want people being like, they're in a harsh living environment because Don's spinning or Tom's spinning the narrative that Don like fucking grabbed these mutts by their like the back of their head and just like dragged them in this garage. He did. They already <laughs> escaped. Those dogs don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> they did escape. They once. already got out, and Don had to scuttle after them and drag them back by their hind legs. I chased them down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you grabbed their back legs. And just... That was that was the first. That was the first time I like I did like a dead sprint in probably years to chase them. I'm how, like, how, I was how, like, man, I'm pretty fast. What, ma <laughs> <laughs> what max speed did Look you get up to? I'm really. Running. I'm, I'm really hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably what it looks like whenever you see a giant in a movie sprint when it looks like they're moving really slow, but it's like they're 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 they're, they're going miles so at a time. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like oh, he looks like he's <laughs> yeah. moving slow, but really it's like you know, you know, crossing countries with just a few steps of his little feet, just tit tat yeah. right across the ocean. Did they? So what, did they come back to you, or did they just like? Oh yeah, they're my best friend now. They both like me. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <Best friend. laughs> 
Would you ever do you think if this dog gave birth in your garage, would you would you handle those puppies? Would you would you help that dog give birth? I don't know how to do that. I, I every morning I wake up, I'm worried it will have already happened and there will just be <laughs> Is she that close? She's pretty fucking pregnant. Hey, take your trip. Oh. I don't know anything about pregnant dogs. Like I, I don't know. Well, if you're gonna but, hold yeah. her around for a while, you might as well take her to a vet and see how long she has. They um they will not examine <laughs> them unless we declare that we're taking care of them, but that they're like our dogs. Oh for like, my god! For like legal purposes. Yeah, this is this is slowly turning into like a cheaper by the dozen situation, man. You're <laughs> you, have, you have you have two dogs right this now. This is just a wacky film. Yeah, you're like you're sitting there. You're sitting, you're like, damn, I'm I have two dogs. I'm going to get rid of them. Next thing you know, you're going to have legally two dogs in your hand, and they're going to feel bad to give away like six puppies or some shit. It's going to be. I really gonna, fucking gonna, hope our landlord doesn't tune into Cream Crew every week. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the Whoa. fuck is going on over there? We know his son is like was excited about the idea of YouTubers living in the house. Yeah, that's true. So, well, yeah, he, so that's, word no, might no, no, get no. back. You, just, you don't put any of this in. We just do like a two minute long beep. It's too late, Don. It was in the last one. All right. Well, I guess we'll, I'll just start off the next segment. Okay. So we were talking about something, but it had to literally <laughs> all be erased because uh, Tom and Don's landlord uh, son is an avid fan of Tom and Don. All of that probably needs to be. So too. to your to the Let's landlord, thanks for being a fan. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Basically, our our lease ends in like six months, and I'm trying to like push to to leave earlier, and I feel like Don always wonders why. Why would I want this? Why would why would I And there are now sixteen dogs in our garage. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up and look out in the morning and then there are literally two giant wolves running around the back garden and sixteen of their sprogs like rolling around in the muck, growing bigger by the day. Do they bark and stuff? Are they are they vocal dogs? Incessantly. They are good dogs. Just all they day. Don't bark, honestly, mm. no, they don't. They're pretty chill. Like oh, you don't well, know that's fine. there that's, if you that, don't look that, outside. <laughs> yeah, it's just Tom is just like a weird scratch on the back of your neck. You're just like, you know, weird ticks. I'm sure. I'm sure your uh, your your woman's both your woman's love it. Love the pups running around. No. No, because they hate dogs. Or is it it's literally dogs. only dogs? They want to get one as a tool. Remember, dogs. They don't actually like dogs. Did this fail too much the first time? So you're gonna try again. <sighs> It didn't fail. Like three people are like, yeah, Tom probably shouldn't get a dog. And like 70 were like, Tom, bite yeah, they're, seven they're Rottweilers. The same 70 would still think Hunter is 23. They listen to the first part and then they just tune out the other shit. That's so true. Well, you, need to re you need to reiterate and restate and eventually it sinks you in. Can. I just don't how old, how old are you today, Hunter? Oh, yeah. How, you're a big boy. I just, just turned 24. <laughs> this, is, this story is going to stay consistent. You're going to forget your own fucking age. I already have. I was like, I'm. Fuck. I, I, I sat there. Even me and me and uh, Allison have birthdays on, you know, similar times. Well, within four days from each other, and we were sitting there, and I was like, "Are we, are we, twenty four, or are we twenty five? And she's like, "I think we're twenty four. So it was a nice little. Uh, You're not twenty four or twenty five. You were a twenty seven year old man, Hunter. I'm like, I'm like a twenty four year old who's like, just kind of finding out what it feels like to be a man. Like an adult, you know, like 23, you're kind of like touching it. But now it's like, I don't know. I feel like the kind of like, I feel like, uh, you know, this is the age that Seth MacFarlane got a network, like a prime time animated show. So this is where it's like, you're, this is your big boy pants era. I'm finally I, uh, hitting my stride at 24 years old. I feel like this is the year I became an adult. I feel very competent and adult like. I feel like I could raise a child, you know? I didn't feel like that maybe before, but now I feel I'm, I'm ready. I don't, I don't know think what you, changed. I don't think you could be a dad yet, Tom. I think you need. To, I think well, I would fucking crush it. I think you need to yeah. learn how to love and learn how to just, have emotions. You, you just stick it, you the bottle in its mouth. Boy, you're here to guard me, <laughs> <laughs> along about with the Rottweiler and the 17 AR-15s. About ten times a day, you just Ain't stick a bottle in its face. In and, uh, you rock it maybe two dozen times when it cries, and then if it doesn't stop crying, you That's repeat, right. and then, then uh, send it off. It. It's like it's <laughs> ironic for both yeah. of you man babies to tell me that I'm not ready to be a dad. I'm the most stable out of all of you. 
You're all like one bad day from jumping off a fucking cliff. You are the most emotionally stunted person I know. Void. Well, emotionally Easily. stable Easily. person. Void. Easily the most Void of emotionally emotion. stunted person I stable. know. Stable. Stable. Steady like no. a rock. Stable. Like a mountain. It's, it's Zero is a very a dark stable hole. number. <laughs> a black yes. hole of yeah. void. Yeah. Just a void. A stable black hole, though. Not one that's about to collapse. Void. It's, it's, it's yeah. a cold, un un warranting, unwanting stable, place. But imagine, imagine ha everything around it. Imagine I destabilize stuff around me. You're going to destabilize the dog? <laughs> Don child. Don drags home two crackhead dogs, and I'm a destabilizing <laughs> force. Good lord! <laughs> two crackhead dogs. <laughs> they just need to, they just need help back on their feet, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in the garage, like rolling around, crack pipes and shit. I told you to stay off the shit. Now, now I'm actually imagining these dogs actually addicted to crack cocaine, and I really enjoy it. They do. They've got little pipes and everything. That'd be kind of cute, right? You just hear the bubbling sound from the fucking garage. Don's like, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> like, runs downstairs. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I uh, I don't know what I would do if I had a kid right now. You know what I'd do if I had a kid right now? I'd love it. Right? <laughs> right, guys? Is that the right <laughs> is response? That, is that, your, I love is that your segue? Yeah. What, what would you... I don't know. Why don't... We kind of discussed this before briefly. You're not, you don't feel ready for kids or whatever, but like... Let's just say it happened. Let's say you got a, you got a little too close with the edging with Allison, and oh you, oh, 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 oh no oh, no! <laughs> you you try to pull out. She grabs uh, your ass oh. cheeks and pulls you back in, ha. and she says, "No." What are you doing? <laughs> Film no, me. Stop! Stop, <laughs> Allison! Stop! And she's just like, <laughs> "I want your seed." You're, no! And then boom, she's pregnant. Nine months later, <clears throat> little Hunter pops out. What do you do? Go. Well, we could. We we should have seen this coming with how you acted that one night when we were fucking. That's so how I would probably say. Uh, I mean, I, well, first off, walk it down, bro. well, first off, I mean, it's you're, nine you're, months. You're, you're married, in it, as soon as she, you pass the two million threshold, two she million started subs, grabbing your ass cheeks fucking... with an iron-like grip. It's and nine you months. Into her. Perfection too. It's nine months you know? of mental prep. First off, don't act like it's a fucking surprise. Like Hunter, I brought home your child. <laughs> what? I thought you were just getting fat and shit, whore. dude. She's wearing those dresses to hide it because she knows yeah, you'll she's... fucking push her down some stairs. I thought it was kind of odd get. that you were wearing moo's for six months straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, I would just. Uh, I I feel like I would hope it's a boy at first, but then I would secretly wish it was girl because I always feel like girls are a better first child. Like, I feel like girls are just way you easier to You want a girl? <clears throat> you're out of your mind. Yeah, you're fucking crazy, dude. You're you want a I girl. I feel like girls, I feel like girl, older, like an older sibling girl is always better than having like an older male sibling and then a younger. You're I don't insane. know. You're insane. What are you talking uh, about? How so, Don, do you have a sister? Yeah, I have an older sister. She sucks. <laughs> 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 All right, should we say she's she that sucks. bitch? She she did <laughs> she did suck, and she formally apologized for it when we were adults. Oh, how lame! So much. Yeah, Don, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for being an older sibling. What did she do? Name one horrible thing she did. <laughs> Dox her right was, now. <laughs> she was female. She was female and older. Ooh, that's, that's a bad. That's, that's a, a starting point. <laughs> that's, that's a bad that's, take. That's my hot take. Nice little insult. That's my hot take. She was female. She was female. She had a vagina. Your, your, your dad comes in. She was female, boy. <laughs> She's that's a right. girl. That, Don't trust that's her. That's right. Tell him. <laughs> so what? I mean, what did she do? Like. I, I think it goes back to what we were talking about before. Your parents don't actually know what they're doing. So the first one's the trial run, and then they get a little better each time. So mm -hmm. the first one gets the raw end of the stick, and then, you know, it's it's a girl. So <laughs> in addition to trying to keep them off drugs and all the rest, you also may have to make sure they don't get raped, and they don't get pregnant, and all these other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking hill. He's a yeah, man. He speaks his mind. That's how it goes. From the flash that's how it goes. And you know what? You why, know are what? You, why are you lumping me in? If I mean, I, I totally agree. If but why I you ever me found in? out I was having a girl, it would be the worst day of my life. He didn't just make that up. He has said that since I've known him. We've, we've talked about this many times. That is his go to. He's like, literally, it would be the worst day of my life. <clears throat> Yep. I've always imagined. You just, it's like it's like it's an 18 year prison sentence, essentially. That's any child. No, because with boys, I think what I think is, it's like the first. Jesus Christ, it's gonna be out there. <laughs> <laughs> Even you're it's, stopping no, no, yourself no, no, it's, it's in preparation. First, <laughs> it's the first 10 years that are really hard because they're little ass, the whole psychopaths that destroy everything. 
But once you get them over that and they start to get into their teen years, so yeah, I mean, they get depressed and stuff. You got to keep them from killing themselves. But uh, <laughs> you, get, you get them to 18, they're stable, and they're not going to end up getting raped or pregnant, you know? Tom it's, is the most emotionally stunted person I know. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Listen, Tom wrote the gospel that like, I'm spitting. Also, first off, <laughs> guys are just so fucking stupid. I imagine that I, I need to be yeah, more prepared. I also, whenever I have a, a son, it's go, I want I'm going to raise him to be like my best friend. It's your most idyllic human you can possibly make, and they don't well, even know I mean, that they're being yeah, manipulated and molded into the human <clears throat> being they are. You're making the point for us. What are you going to do with the girl? The girl, I feel like, is a perfect test run because I feel like the girls can only now listen. Hear me out. They can only be beneficial. You know, I always feel like girls get better grades. They're just smarter. Usually they succeed more. You know how many times I've had friends that are like the uh, the older brother and then their sister is knows two languages. Do you know how many women I know that speak three languages? Too many. Too many. It's because they're opening up the pool of men they can get friend. fucked by. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Also, it's it's kind of like an idyllic country album type deal of my my firstborn daughter, and I teach her how to drive a truck. And I'm Dude, like, she's I'm like, gonna yeah. spend her whole life deceiving you into thinking she fucking loves you and that you're great. And meanwhile, she is doing the most heinous shit behind your. I back. want this to be a clear example. First off, we're not cutting this. We're putting this in. I want this to be a clear example of the incel mentality that is in the Flash Kids <laughs> campaign and that I am a man of the people. I am the man of women. I'm a male feminist. There. <coughs> so I'm a male be, feminist. We're, we're, that, 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 that's, soon, then. that's what makes us so... Uh, that was, that's what makes our electricity so vibrant and so bold is because it's yin and yang. <laughs> I'm I, I'm the guy who's just like all women are queens, and you guys are the other ones. Just like if she breathes, she's thought type deal. <laughs> that's that that's the dynamic we have, and that's what I love. Women, I, I don't know what it is, but like a lot of women I know are um they hate their dads. They just fucking hate them. I mean, we're probably the reason why thinking about it. <laughs> I, always, I, I, I always thought it was like. Uh, you the girls hated their moms and it was like your daddy's you know daddy's girl or whatever i thought that was the whole like trope my sister hated my mom and then that's why you have like the the boys are usually more like yeah uh, it's like fuck there's there's just something about them hunter just something about how many how many times have you heard of like a similar thing with a boy it's just the the different ways human beings come into being I, i i just think the the first 20 years of a woman's life are much more tumultuous and dangerous I don't. I mean, I. I mean, I just. I, maybe it's just different. And you're responsible for it. My. It's just. It's game theory, Hunter. You just, my. My friend. It's an easier ride. Real politics. My. My very good friend. I can't say his name, but when I was like 13 or 14, he was 15, and he knocked up a girl, and he was like <laughs> doing all this stuff, and I'm like, I, f- I. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just the first child effect. I feel like the. I feel like that's the problem, because I. You know. I mean, the the pregnant thing would be a scare, for sure. But I feel like I don't know men. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Can't, I, I can't even imagine what I would do. E- e- well, either let me way, tackle this from another angle. My son or daughter then. came home and they're like, "I'm pregnant," or I knock somebody up. That would fuck me up. <laughs> we got to move. Don't bring this. it let's here. Let's... No, no, I've got, I've got another. <laughs> this uh, this we has don't. to be a tight hour. No, We're no, this to... <laughs> this could be the tight hour. Uh-huh. One topic, whole way all through. Right, all right. But here's my other let's angle. Just try to keep the Prager U under wraps. <laughs> You're telling me to keep the Prager U under wraps after the fucking tirade you just went on. You sounded like Ben Shapiro. Cross with, like, <laughs> Steven Crowder. Uh, well, the thing is, is that the females are disgusting, gross ickies, and they're meant for babies. <laughs> and, <laughs> wait, the, the angle I want to comment from, too, is, as a man, and knowing men, Ugh. having a daughter is very fucking scary. Dudes are fucking animals, man. Mm. Like, you know, like, <clears throat> I know most of my friends, maybe that's a reflection on me, a lot of my friends are just the <laughs> fucking, oh, I don't know, man. Disgusting. You've... Yeah, they're, they're mm. just like fucking animals. There's, yeah. there's like not a single shred of like I remember decency. It, it, you have some responsibility to shield them from that. When I was like 12, I remember my dad came up to me and he's like, when's the last time he showered? And I said, I don't know. And he said, you just don't care. He, I, I nice. just could see that I could see the disappointment in his eyes. And at the time I just didn't. I just didn't I, because I was literally just a fucking stink pig, just like an animal, <laughs> just walking around. <laughs> 
wearing like the same fucking like quadruple XL Mario hoodie that I bought from fucking. That's not really what Hot I'm Topic. talking about, Hunter. No. How do you say to your like 15 year old daughter who's starting to think about sex? How mm. do you say like that that guy who's like making you feel all kind of giddy and stuff really just wants to like grab you by the hair and like throat fuck you? And that's not a healthy yeah, relationship. I think probably a different, probably different vocabulary <laughs> you can work to use, but. How do you shield them from the fucking like animals that dudes are? You know what it's I just, you, you know what yeah. I do? I, I I would take her on a drive. I'd be like, You've been thinking about boys or girls. I mean, I don't know, whatever she, way she's swinging, who knows? But she's sitting there and she's like, Yeah. We'd have to worry about girls. You know what I do? I put on Rush Spirit of the Radio and I say, Did that clear it up for you? She's like <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like, I'm gonna be a good girl now. And I'm like, that that girl, sweetheart. Also, who's the greatest drummer of all time? She's like Lars Ulrich, and I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl. There You're gonna is. be all right, master, master. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, cool. I'm glad we figured that one out. I think I think that. Uh, well, also, here's the other thing too. You start with a girl because then you get to see how your wife or partner or whatever deals with those. <laughs> those conversations because as a dad i'm like well i mean it's not my responsibility to talk to my daughter have the sex talk with my daughter and then whenever she has it you're like how'd it go <laughs> what did you say what'd you do well yeah but you know how fucked up your wife is that's like do you really trust it to them <laughs> what yeah I do. what yes i do what <laughs> I, 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 what the fuck kind of statement is that what kind, you, what kind of that shade throwing <laughs> bullshit is that <laughs> You know how completely fucked in the head your wife is? My wife is No, 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 not your wife, but mm. your wife is a generality. <laughs> well, let's just You know fair. her so intimately. You know how <laughs> fucking... How, Here how fucked he up is. is. There, 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 there he is. There's the, guy. There's the Tom we know. It's going to be like half an hour episode. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, like women, like women are all really fucked up. No, she knows how fucked up you are too. <laughs> you start making the fucking most ridiculous bolts and claims. Can, can we at least get on a track to where people can start liking us again? Is that a, is that a trajectory? When I say your wife, it could be your <clears throat> husband. It doesn't matter. Adults yeah, yeah. all in some kind of way are fucked up. And you know how mm. fucked up your life partner is. So do you really trust that person to raise your kids? It's a, it's a moral 100%. quandary. 100%. It's a philosophical question. See, I, I actually, I appreciate the, the very uh, Machiavellian game theory thing Hunter is saying, though. He's saying that if it's, if it's a girl, then mm -hmm. you can have the hard conversations play out on your wife. Mm -hmm. And you can take notes from the shadows mm -hmm. so that you don't fuck it up with the boy. Because exactly. they're responsible for having those discussions. Also, yeah, let but me, women here's and, another thing. The, but the, the boys the, aren't going to react the same as the girls. Yeah, but well, it's a different conversation. But still, the thing is, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play ball on a game I don't understand. You know, mm. I'm not gonna have a, the sex talk with my daughter. Or what whatever. makes you think they understand unless, it unless, either? Uh, unless I was well, they asked. don't. But, he's, but he sees, oh, you shouldn't have done that because this happened, and then he gets. Yeah, but that's only gonna apply to to the to girls. I guess if you have more girls, you could then use those those notes. You could, or you could just keep pinning it off on your wife. Either way. And then, well, uh, little and, Johnny. And then, and then you could, and then you <laughs> could, always, and, they, and they could always be Daddy's little angel. Exactly. Yeah, they she, they grow up to resent to resent their mum because she's always having these hard fucking talks, and you're just like, ice cream for dinner. That's right. <laughs> that is right. That's the kind of dad I'm gonna be. Oh my god, what did your mom say? She's being a bitch and says I can't fuck Tyler. Well, that's a drag. <laughs> Anyways, I have mint chocolate chip ice cream here. If you want a little sweet, that always sweetheart. makes it better. Yeah, that's the that kind of dad you're gonna be. You're gonna you're gonna want your kids to drink with you by the time they're like twelve. <laughs> no. No no no. I you know, I even when I was younger, I had friends' parents who would like like when we were like, I don't know, sixteen or something, they would sit there and be like on New Year's and be like, You can have some drinks, but you can't go anywhere or something. And I was always just kinda like what like what kind of fucking house is <laughs> is this? You're having like nice, sixteen yeah. year olds come over here and like drink and they're supervised, but still it's like I don't know. I thought it was weird. I, I Wait, definitely it will. Uh, it's just inappropriate. It's not your first off. It's not your kid, and then also it's just like I, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's good to give kids that young shit like that. I think kids are really susceptible to stuff. Kids that young are having that shit anyway, man. At least you could do it in a controlled environment. Yeah, I guess, but I think it just still promotes it. Like I, I don't. I don't even think you should promote it to kids at that age. I think that like you don't think my you have dad to hide let it from me them. like. 
take puffs on his cigar when I was like seven. That's puffs though, versus like going over and getting drunk in a controlled environment. Oh, are they are these parents letting kids get like paralytic? That's that's what I mean. Like I'm I, like if <laughs> I was just if I was like a, if I was tub. like a if I was like a football game, I would let my kid have like a sip of beer or something like that because it's like I don't know like a weird bonding thing. But I wouldn't like let my son drink an entire thing or like get fucked. You know, like oh uh, well, I thought you were just saying they were letting them have like a beer or something, not like getting fucking doing Jaeger bombs off of yeah. Off that, of the... that, that that's what I mean. I was like that's why I was like Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I mean. You're talking about somebody else's kids too at their house. Yeah, well, as it well. was like, oh, yeah, like, that is weird. It's like six. Yeah, it was like yeah. fucking. It was really weird. It was yeah. just. It was super odd. And they're like, well, well, they're here, so it's better than. It's better that they're doing it here than somewhere where they're not safe. And I'm like, they're not safe here, dude. This is the toxic environment that people are trying to avoid. Like, is yeah. it weird? Um, uh, is it weird in the states? Like, I remember more than one friends. Like, my parents never did it, but friends' house where like they would just have like a bowl of like condoms that, that their kids could just like reach in and take from because they were their, their philosophy was basically the kids are gonna fuck people like and there's not much you could do to stop it because they're teenagers so you might as well at least make them have access to as much like you know prophylactics as possible i, think I feel you, like i res i respect the philosophy of that but i feel like there should be a little more cadence it, yeah because because at that point it's essentially encouragement like yeah, provide it, but you don't. Yeah, it's it. like a yeah. it's like almost like a cough drop or some shit. <laughs> like it's like <laughs> it's like dinner mints versus like having to like have a conversation and shit. Also, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm, I like, I like split how, on that one. I like how this is turning into like a like a <laughs> educational <laughs> like what a doctor Hunter, Phil kind of like. Are we allowed to like shit on women from a lofty height, or do we need to be good people that people like? You can't no, have just, ways, I'm, 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 enjoy I'm just wondering. I was like sitting there looking out. And I'm like, I wonder if people are looking to meet Kenan and Flash gets to talk about. <laughs> The the philosophy of like under Man, I'm gonna drinking have to think about that all. too soon. Oh shit! <laughs> I look up to these guys. They've got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I'm a kid and I care about this a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have sex and drink underage now. Because those cool guys say I shouldn't. That guy breeding crackhead dogs and the guy that hasn't said he loves anyone in seven years. I'm gonna look up to those guys. Hey, and don't that, leave that, yourself I, out. Alcoholic. I might. There I might go. still be delusional. I'm probably delusional. But I feel like we are basically kin with those people. Like even like like an eighteen year old. You know, I, I don't feel like I am. Dude, you think as... you're kin with the eleven year old next no, door? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, you're, that is the obvious connection I was trying to head <laughs> off. Your I'm just obsession saying, like, I think was connecting to no, the no, younger no, no, generation. No, 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 no. I think that I think that a YouTuber. <laughs> I think that a YouTuber is basically perceived as a child. Like I mean, yeah, forever. Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with that, but I, I think that. You, just for, given from what I've learned about you so far this year, you are so battle hard to have a child come up and say, Don, I like you. You're my friend. What would you do if a You're nine year old friend. came up to you and was like, Don, I like you? Would that just that just make your day? You want to see my dogs? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my dogs in my garage? They're pregnant. They're rescued. <laughs> They're pregnant. They're do you They're know what that nice. means? <laughs> Do you know how I got that way? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. so how's your How's your neighbors been? By the way, that's, that's oh, the good, good question. Actually, the neighbors that supposedly hate our fucking guts next door left a nice little Christmas care package for us. The little girl put it at no, the door, no, and they no, ran away. No, no, no. That Aww. was that was in response to the other neighbor that has never not liked us. You're right. It's a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy. Plus, it, did you see the care package? It was like fucking Ritz. They gave us Ritz crackers for Christmas. <laughs> You're such a cunt, and I am a cunt. <laughs> I'm a fucking cunt, and you are a cunt. <laughs> I, I grew up in I, no. I grew up in American suburbia. I know what's like an acceptable. This is an insult. Yeah, you don't just buy fucking Ritz crackers and leave them. That's, that's it's, this that's, is a that's smear. Fuck. <laughs> Was, 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 they're wait, wait, sending wait, wait. a clear was message. There, was there a they card? Are. Was there a card or anything? I didn't see the rest of it. All I knew is that it was a bag with Ritz crackers in it. It's so already like you're going the through the filter of your girlfriend. The strangest. Well, I saw the crackers. 
Yeah, well, I know you no, 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 no. Well, well, and I'm aware well, that that is what was out. in the thing. I don't we think have that to figure a, out. There, there's no Christmas card that negates that you gave someone a tube of Ritz crackers. Oh, I think that, I think it negates it. I think that it could be just an innocent thing of being like, all right, now go give that over. It could be something simple. Who knows? Because well, what crackers I really think it was was, was Renee, more than crackers in there. Our, too. our neighbor made these nice, other stuff. like decorated Christmas cookies that she gave everyone in the cul-de-sac, and I think that they scrambled to you know save face and they gave everyone their fucking leftover holiday Ritz crackers. We didn't scramble to after save face. Christmas. So they are at least a rung higher than us, and we don't hate the neighbors. Well, you maybe hate the neighbors. Well, I mean, they all like each other, though. They don't like us, though. They still they, gave they, us crackers. They, they why, us do, uh, why don't they like you? What'd they you do? Because I scared their children. Tom is the most emotionally stunted person I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, keeps, just, just keeps going back. <laughs> Tom's really salty about the whole dog thing. He's hoping to just—you're right. He was I was hoping to just do it, and nobody said anything about it. I, I was—I was hoping they would be gone within yeah. two days. No, no, no. I mean, your dog. I'm not talking about the German Shepherds. Oh, I'm talking about the poor beast that will be the fucking your, Chad beast. Your servant, the big muscly Chad beast. Your servant keeps me warm for at night. Three years until you get kicked out, and then, and then I give it to you. You give you it like to the raised dog farms. You give it to the pound. <laughs> give it to give it to the Donald Gregor. Dog, dog, and <laughs> no, no, You know what, Tom? Tom has essentially adopted my girlfriend's cat because we both hate it because he's a cunt. I, to- likes- I told, I told him. Tom like, thinks he's you- funny looking and he likes him. I do like him. It's but, a cute, so it's a I've cute said, Well, hey, Tom, you want to, you want to like take him because he drives us both crazy. And, and Tom, t- what no. Tom said, what Tom literally said was, if you put him up for adoption, I will not intervene. I have You're what they- out a lot of that conversation. I, I have what they call selective empathy. I can be selectively emp- empathetic when it suits me. And it, I will not lose any sleep if you put him up to the pound and I never see him again because I don't want a cat. Because if it'll make it difficult to find adoption, a house. I won't there's a t- there's a lot of context missing here. Uh, uh, provide the Don, context. Let me I'm, provide I'm the context. I'm certain there is Don, no Don says, context. Don't go in the statement. I, I'm going to put the cat in a pound if you don't take him. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be held fucking ransom no, I said, by, by your no, 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 emotional no, no, sabotage no, 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 of blackmail. Okay, no, yeah, no, if you, you go ahead and put him in a pound, I'm not going to take him <laughs> this is very in that way. This is very revisionist. <laughs> this, this, is what, this is utterly revisionist. This is literally the conversation. You're like, I bet you'll take him if I put him up in a pound. I was like, I'm not going to be fucking held hostage like that. Right, of course right. I'm not going to take the cat if you threaten me like that. You would miss okay. him, Tom. You would miss him. I, of I, course I'd miss him. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, of okay course. so I'm not going to be held hostage. I'm going to let this cat die because I refuse to be cocked by you. Exactly. Holding me emotionally hostage. So the, this That's cat right. that I love dies. You're like, I'm going to kill this cat. You put me in this situation. I'm going to so kill this I'm, cat because so my I'm, girlfriend I'm doesn't going, like him. I'm just going to reach into my pocket and pull out my <laughs> selective empathy and just turn it <laughs> off. Just lo- turn I, I, it off I, I love and watch that term. kitty go. I love the term selective empathy. <laughs> It's That's a superpower, great. I'm not gonna lie. You have no <laughs> idea how useful it is. I do like I do like how many times that you know how many times I've been on the phone with Tom and you hear that fucking cat outside the door just pawing to get in for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Oh, come here, kitty. He does some kind of weird British. He's like, I don't know, some weird British thing. It's up on his lap while he's wearing that fucking like Lord of the Rings cloak thing that he wears when he's like, it's warm and cozy. And he's sitting there and the amount of times, and I just love the fact that he would put that thing down, look at Don right in the face and be like, if you put this up for adoption, <laughs> I would not interfere. I would fucking kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I would st- just curb stomp this cat's tiny neck into the ground <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> no, not a blink of an You eye. people need men like me in times of hardship. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's like we you guys, you guys are all gonna when the Ukrainians come for us, mm-hmm. you fucking you're gonna <laughs> call for me. You're gonna be like Tom. I need you in your arsenal of guns and your 17 Rottweilers. No, I saw your hunter was. Saying and I'm not gonna be show. there. We're gonna have limited food, and you're just perpetually making it easy. Dude, to I'm gonna strike goes. first. You guys are gonna be still debating with the morality of it. I'm gonna flip my you little think, switch and you, come for you, both of you. No, what you're gonna find is that whenever the goal, because you always put yourself in this philosophical situation or this like doomsday clock of like. You always put yourself, because it's 2020, like, you always refer back to, like, Roman times. It's been thousands of fucking years, and you're still like, <laughs> the Romans did. It's like, no one cares about the Romans, dude. It's done. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gone generation. <laughs> Everyone like, cares about the Romans. And then whenever that doomsday clock actually ticks, people are going to feel it, and then you're going to be like, all right, I have to, and before you can turn around, your ass is getting pounced on. Dude, Ba-bam. in like a doomsday scenario, I would absolutely be the first person to die. I, I'm not arguing that. I'm very ill-equipped. 
But um, if there was ever a doomsday situation, would you just kill yourself? Yes. Yeah. Immediately. Would you? Yeah. Why? Why the fuck eke out like three extra weeks of terribleness when you could just like, oh well, I had a good run. I feel like it'd be hard to kill myself. Huh, it'd be it'd be, it'd be hard to like to to like actually pull the trigger. Why? Oh, I don't. I mean, I, <laughs> I guess it's just, just, just human nature, I guess, or something. <laughs> well, I mean, you say that, but Don's like saying that if there was a shotgun in the house, he would instantly run to it. Instantly well, the thing is, that, I think that you even gotta, though there's a shotgun the right in the house, mood, though. You even know, though there's a shotgun in the house, you gotta set the mood for, for the suicide. Yeah. It's more, yeah. it's more of like the. Uh, I mean, I, I know exactly what he means because I have those things too, where I'm just like, if I die today, I would be, that would be fine type deal. It's more of like the shotgun becomes like l- a literal persona in the house of like this voice that's just like, just fucking do it, <laughs> and, do it, it and it pussy. triggers over and over again until one day you're like, Ooh. <laughs> <And he's> like <laughs> you're making a good point. You're making a good point, Mister Shotgun. <laughs> 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 it's fine. I I will I will shoot you and then I'll shoot me. You don't have to even okay, think great. about it. Uh, see, That's and then, then you need me. You need the selective empathy. You're welcome. It was it was creeping me out. The reason I asked that is because I watched this uh, Heaven's Gate documentary, and that was one where they all uh, killed themselves willingly. And I'd be like, that would be fucked. And like the, and they all look like super happy. It was just it was just there's a really creepy kind of uh, eerie feeling of people that were just like, yeah, I'm going to heaven in an outer in a spaceship soon, and they just like. Kill themselves. Didn't they, didn't they think the aliens were gonna like fetch them though, and then they killed themselves? This is a fucking gene stealer cult, dude. Wait, what'd you say? Yeah. I thought they, I, I thought with that they thought the aliens were gonna fetch them, and they never showed up, so they killed themselves to save. No, no, no. They the philosophy kind of like changed from what I remember them saying in the documentary is that they had to like shed their vehicles, which was their body, and they and they uh, would extend into the when they killed themselves, they would ascend through space into heaven. Type deal. But the, what the creepy thing was with those suicides is they all didn't do it at once. They did it in shifts. So the first wave went, killed themselves. Then the second and third waves cleaned them up and like whatever. Then the second wave killed themselves. And then the third wave cleaned what them up. What are you talking about? And then the third uh, wave that killed them. That Heaven's Gate cult thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Never heard of it. Yeah. I, I it, was largest, uh, it was the largest largest like mass suicide. It wasn't the Kool-Aid suicide. shit. No, it's James or uh, Jamestown. Jamestown. Jamestown, yeah. yeah. Jim Jones or Jonestown, whatever. The so these these Jones. people these people thought they were going to heaven and they would just like kill themselves and then that that's kind of the deal. Well, it became a thing of mixed narrative. I don't know. It's like it's a documentary that kind of shows people that were still in it or something. Um, it's just it was. I'm I'm, I'm going to do it any day now. I promise. <laughs> Well, there was people. There, there, there was people. There, there, the the craziest thing I didn't know was that at the time there were people that were like that were like, oh, I I'm not gonna kill myself, and they like left, and then years had passed, and they felt bad, and they missed their friends. I mean, to be fair, it was a cult, so they were probably still in that cult mentality. But years later, people were like, I miss my friends and family, and they would kill themselves and say that they're happy and that they're going to visit their. And this happened multiple times, so it was pretty pretty wild. It's interesting. Man. This always happens in America. What you say? Why does this only ever happen in America? No, I'm genuinely like asking a question. Do you guys have any theories? You never hear about this shit happening in like Russia or Europe or Africa or because God is dead, Tom. I don't think God is dead in Africa. Well, I think it's probably I think God just a is mixture. very much like a big deal in Africa. I think well, it's yeah. a big mixture of uh, can't afford the no, no. I'm, I'm saying in the, the vacuum of God, we have to fill it with Kool Aid. I think it's just a mixture of, of yeah. different ideals coming together, especially with, when it comes to cults. Is it's always somebody who. Usually, people who are looking for something else besides a certain organized religion, and I feel like in America, you're much more open just to kind of like believe in whatever the fuck you want, and then it usually always starts as like some kind of Christian sect that usually morphs into something really fucking creepy and weird, and uh, yeah, it turns like haywire somehow. Yeah, and also, we already have weird. like some cults type stuff of different kind of cults in America that are organized religions. I'm not gonna dox you guys, but we know who you are. Mormons, Mormons, and Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go for a pee pee. I'll be right back. Oh, we can make this. We can make this a segment. This can be. This can be a, a a Don and Hunter segment called Tom's Piss Break. Tom's Piss Break. Hey, welcome to Tom's Piss Break. Uh, Don, when you go to amusement parks, are you a big roller coaster fan? Uh, I'm not because of my scoliosis. Oh, you just jarred around, fucking break your goddamn back. <laughs> well, well, yeah. So. so you get on the thing, and there's, like, a big scary sticker that says, if you have back problems, like, don't do this. 
and I, <laughs> yeah. when I, when I was a kid, I was like a massive pussy about roller coasters, and then like right around the time I was like ready to be like, yeah, roller coasters, all that shit happened, and then I got on the sticker and I saw the, I, the ride and I saw the sticker and pussied out. So, I have, so never have you never really been on a roller coaster? Ridden. I've never been on a upside downy roller coaster. Because I was scared of them when I was young, and now I'm just not supposed to do them. But I still like, like, uh, I really like the wooden ones that rattle a whole lot, you know, but are still like... Dude, I feel like that would be the worst one for your fucking back, the wooden <laughs> you ones. You would think. No, but, but I think, like, flipping and stuff and, you know, like, shifting my gravity and shit. Oh, bad, I see. You know? There was one in Kansas City. There's a amusement park called Worlds of Fun, and they have a really, a couple, they have, like, a lot of fun roller coasters there. But there's the infamous Mamba one that goes really fast. Big, high... Big high up archway type deal, and then a really fast steep. And anyways, my friend was on this ride with me, and this guy apparently at the very top of it, whenever he was dropping, spit a loogie out in front of him, and it blinded someone in the back cart of the roller coaster. <sighs> took out one of their eyes. It took out their fucking eye. Just because of the velocity. You, you knew the guy that did it? I knew the guy who spit the loogie, yeah, that got in trouble. Did, did he get like sued or something? We were thirteen at the time. He, uh, his family got sued pretty hard. Yeah, he ended up moving schools. I bet it's because Jesus he Christ. fucking. I think. It was oh, is it like he, another like a kid in the school that he took out their eye? Yeah, it was like we like did one of those things where your parents drop you off or whatever, and you're like thirteen, just walk around amusement park with like a group of people from your school, or you're meeting up with other people from your school, and it was right. just like, this kid I knew from my school. We were towards the front of the deal. When we were going down, and it was like at its full speed, he like hocked the loogie up in the air, and it just like fucking whoosh, went back and hit that person in the last cart right in the eye. And nobody could hear him at first because the guy was screaming or whatever. <laughs> but it's like everyone's like, Having you know, the time of his life, you know. And it's like the the, the longest sixty seconds of his life as the you know roller coaster is going around. <laughs> yeah, the rest. Yeah, of the it gets off, ride. and he gets off, and everyone's like, ah, you know, oh, that's it's so fast. <laughs> and the guy's still in the back, just like, oh. oh! <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's like, what the fuck? So it was. Uh, but that's then, fucking but then crazy. I, Spit could do that, or yeah. like loogie. This is. Well, like was the whole thing of people? Shit. They had to put up. Uh, yeah. They had to put up like roofs and covers for like pennies and stuff falling out of people's pockets from super high up roller coasters and stuff coming down and hitting people or doing mm. something like that. Or people would go to the top and kids would just like be dickheads and throw shit down. <laughs> so it's like <clears throat> on the tracks God, and stuff. Man. Yeah. And the people in lines and stuff, just kids are the worst. <laughs> kids yeah. are just like fucking villains, man. That's fucked. So did, did he go glass eye or eye patch? <laughs> oh, I, I, mean, I don't I, think I, I, I kept I, up I, with I, this I, man. No, he said he I, went to I, school. I, I didn't catch up with the kids. I thought the Lukey kid went to your school. Yeah, yeah. The, the oh, kid I thought that the did kid the lost his. Uh, so why did he change no, schools? No, no, no. If it was just some guy, it, was he like shamed for being a? Oh, I mean, no. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying the kid moved. I mean, we were 13, right. so who knows what happened? I just know that his family got in like a horrible like lawsuit thing. I just remember that because looking back on it, I just remember him being like, "Yeah, my family is going to court or something today, or I have to go be in court or something." And then it was like it was just very through the lens of a child who probably doesn't know the severity of the things going on around him. And like this whole situation, it was just. Uh, In fairness, funny. a girl would probably never do that. <laughs> to, to your point. <laughs> <laughs> to your point. And then uh, I feel like it's an e it's an easier calling to see if a girl's gonna be a total fuck up. Like if a girl did that, you'd be like, "All right, there's something going on." Versus a guy, you're like, "No, eh, it's just a phase." <laughs> it's boys just will be boys. Who knows what's going on in his head right now? He's <laughs> horny and probably constipated. Who fucking knows what's happening with that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Tom's list is just like she did something weird. He like looks down. It's like period or pregnant. He like looks at her. Oh, she must be on her period. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I, I don't. To... It's a. I. It's a fucking. It really is weird. I would. I feel like if I had a daughter, I would. I'd probably do it with the son too. But like, especially the daughter, enroll her in every like self defense course that is available. She'd be a BJJ champion by the time she's like five. I think it's good to enroll your kids in that shit, anyways, man. What I mean, like for sure. But I guess the other side of that coin that worries me about like enrolling her in every self-defense class in history is that she probably get a false sense of her own abilities Security. and think that yeah. she could like take a fucking 250 pound six foot five like monster mm. you know i don't know i don't know i think that's i don't i think that with those types of training you find discipline and shit i don't Bro, think that you would after I don't watching think, I don't enough th black I, it, widow fucking kicking ass in avengers <laughs> she's gonna think she can take on the world 
It's yeah, dangerous see, it, Hollywood. It, that, that, Stop that's it. when you should be afraid of it being like, <laughs> I kind of look like Scarlett Johansson. I could kick someone's ass versus someone who's like trained professionally by these things. And like, yeah, I've been I've gotten my ass handed to me multiple times. I'm humbled. They they know. You know what I mean? Versus like some dick that that's usually the people who, yeah, watch Iron Man and shit. And they go out and they're like trying to start bar fights. And you're like, this guy just needs to get his ass kicked once so he can like just fucking settle the hell down a little bit. You ever know any about any people like that in your from your childhood? Anybody where you're just like this guy just needs to get his ass kicked like once? I think most people would say me, but it never happened yet, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Zero matches fought. Undefeated. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I, yeah, no, not really. Actually, I don't know anyone like that. Don? <clears throat> no, I think there was a degree of humility, I guess. Yeah. We didn't all grow up in the deep south. Mm. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I, I, I was going to say, though, on sticking to that roller coaster thing, at that same amusement park, I was such a pussy when I was younger because uh, we they would do the Halloween. They would have, like, a bunch of, like, haunted houses there. Did you get? I don't know if you guys ever had anything similar, like an amusement park that had, like, many haunted houses. Um, and that <clears> stuff, <throat> which wait, I, the, I like hated haunted houses. Like the fun house type one, or the, um, the, I don't know, like Haunted Mansion at Disney Like World. when you're sitting on a track. Yeah. No, yeah, like fun, like when you're walking through. Oh, uh, okay. Type deal. They set up in all these different areas. Well, anyways, I was just a, such a huge pussy when I was a child. I remember my mom made me go one time. She's like, we're, we're going. And I was like, okay, fine. And I went there. We were standing in the line. You know, people are walking around. It's just so fucking annoying. Which I was scared shitless back then, but it's like they have like the shovels and there's the fog machine so you can't see shit. And there's people with like the chainsaws without the uh, chains on them. And I remember I was holding my mom's back so tight when I was a kid. And she was like, ah, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> paralyzed at a point. And I was like, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in. And she's like, we're halfway through the fucking haunted house. On utter. And we got out of the fucking, uh, the haunted house, like the first one we went through. And I was like, all right, I think I'm okay. And her, she had this bruise on her back from when I was grabbing her. That was like so severe that she was like, I don't think we're going to go through another one of those again tonight. It worked out then, your, your tactic of brutalizing yeah, just abusing your own mother. Shit. I just I kicked like the back a... of her kneecap, dislocate her <laughs> knee, and just fucking bludgeon the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her to die. Take her! <laughs> Leave me! <laughs> Take the... Just sprint out. Yeah, just sprint out into the fucking the woods. My dad would set those things up growing up, like, just at our house on Halloween. He'd make, like, a big trail for people to walk through. I think we've been over that, but, um... When I yeah, was yeah, like, but I didn't know if you how you were with other, like, outside haunted houses. Right, well... When I was when I was still really young, before I started helping with that, I was probably like ten or something. Uh, I remember going to one with a girl I liked, and I was such a. F I I walked through the thing, and I was pushed. <laughs> I was pushed to the front to be first, and because I knew because I knew my dad's maybe, tricks. Maybe it, maybe it, maybe a bleep. Maybe 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 that was kind that was kind of a that was kind of a hard. Well, kind of I, hard you know, you, there, you hesitate, you have to come you back. You were like the strong. horse who does like, the should jumping. I, should I say You it? kind of like hesitated at the gate, so you overcompensated by jumping mm. really high yeah, yeah, yeah. to clear it. Yeah. <laughs> you scare yourself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I knew my dad's tricks, and I knew like how they ran, but I was still also super scared. Because I was just a like, cringy little kid, and I was trying to impress this girl, so I, like, I went through the thing first, because they made me. And like I, the whole time, I was just like calling all the jumps, you know, be like, "Hi, I see you," and I was just <laughs> talking oh, really God. Really loud. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really like self protection. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Be like, hur, hur, "I see you on the corner. Oh, Go ahead, he's come gonna out. jump out. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so scary. I called him. I called. I knew he was gonna be there. I knew he was gonna be there. Stop it, Dick. Oh, my stupid. Yeah, I. Uh, I was, yeah, I was just a huge puss like that, too. Yeah. I yeah. remember with the same girl, actually, we went to see a movie, and like a scary movie, and I would just like close my eyes. Like, like I'd, stare at, I'd stare at the screen, <laughs> <laughs> but have my eyes closed. She's like, oh my She's God, like, are you so sleeping? <laughs> no. She's like, oh my God, what's that so scary? This is Don watching the movie. He's like, oh my God, that's cra crazy. <laughs> For the bad bits, so now they're gonna get up there and give me nightmares. You know, it was it was a good play. <laughs> She's like, "Are you shutting your eyes?" He's, he's like, "No, I'm just like trying to sleep. I'm trying to sleep? No, I mean, I'm just like 
Where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't think I got caught. It, it was a good move. I, I got to sit through those things, and I didn't absorb any of the scary imagery. I never had any nightmares, and I don't I remember, think she caught me. I remember when I saw Paranormal Activity in theater for the first time, and that <clears> fucked <throat> me up, me and my friends up so hard. We we went home, and it was one of those things where you're like, you guys still want to hang out afterwards? It's like, yeah, so we like went back and like we're playing games for a little bit. And it was like time, like we were like all kind of like getting ready to crash. And it was like one of those things where we all just kind of like laid there <laughs> in silence in like the pitch black room. And someone's just like, I think I heard someone say my name. <laughs> someone's like, God, what, what, dude? <laughs> dude, I think I, I could have swore someone just said Jordan. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, fuck, I think my house is on it, bro. <laughs> dude, I fucking, I was with this girl for like a real short time, and she was obsessed with those with those fucking films, and it was the most cringy shit, right? She would put this DVD on. So for the first the first time, she put this DVD on, and we were watching it, and then she'd be like, "Wait, did you see that?" And she would like rewind and like you see like the the corner of the duvet on the bed like quiver. She's like, oh, oh, it's the ghost. <laughs> and so that's that's cringy enough, whatever. Pretending that she hadn't seen it before. But after we had gone our separate ways, um, someone else in the class ended up dating her, and I found out she the same thing. that she did the exact same, same thing. <laughs> pretended she hadn't watched it before. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, have you, did you see that? I, I would, I would love if somebody did that today in 2020, if they had like a DVD and they're like, paranormal, like, what? paranormal activity? Oh, what's this? Like, what is, uh, I, we can watch, do you want to watch it? I, I don't know. Is it a movie? Like a fun romp. <laughs> Let's put that in. Yeah. Oh there's my been God. Se- there's been seven sequels since then. The per- P- P- a- paranormal, like, paranormal activity. Is that, it's like aliens? What is well, that? What, mean? Was, what, what is was, that? was her play? Like, what was the end game? Why did she do that? Just to be interesting. I, yeah, I mean, I think she maybe really loved the film and she wanted other people to experience the, the <laughs> oh, highs and lows think, of I, 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 I think it was trying to emphasize, emphasize the scares, maybe. Mm. She wanted, it's like whenever you get excited, you're like, watch, watch this, watch this part, type deal. Sh- shut up, everybody shut up and wa- watch this, listen. <laughs> it, yeah, type kinda, deal. yeah. Except that was something else activity. I did as a kid that I think contributed to my parents suspecting I was on the spectrum and like getting me checked out is I would like, whenever we were watching movies I had seen, but like my parents hadn't seen, I'd like, be calling like what's it? Oh, did you see? He said that, and he said that because this, this, this is. He said that to explain the shit that everyone else here saw, right? Like a scene before. I was just so desperate to, uh, I don't know, keep everyone on the same page and see, enjoy the movie. With would me. you think it was like to seem intelligent? No. Well, I, th- I think it's kind of like you were saying. Like you really like the movie, and you don't know how to handle really wanting someone else to enjoy it. So you try to like guide them. <laughs> guide their enjoyment. Guide yeah. their enjoyment. Hold their hand. You sure want somebody to anything. enjoy it as much as you, so when you're done, you, they have the same level of excitement as you do about yeah. the movie. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. like, I, so I'm just... really not that big of a fan of Gremlins 3, Don. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> There's a, uh, it's just like, why, you know, like certain scenes are coming up and they don't react the same way as you do. So oh, you, so you must like, have con- missed it. You have to control yourself from saying anything because you know it's cringy, so you're just like forcing all the blood to your face and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> like try not to say and anything. That's, that's how you grow up. That's right. You just, you just and ladies and gentlemen, down. that's how you become an adult. <laughs> nice round robin. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I remember going on a hike with my girlfriend, and there was like another couple coming up behind us, and we passed some like train tracks in a tunnel, and there was this kid that just kept screaming, "Train tracks! Tra- look, train tracks!" And he was like pointing at the tracks. Mm. And his parents were just ignoring him, and he said it was maybe, it a Korean ghost? Maybe two dozen times. <laughs> It's always a Korean ghost. No, we, we moved on from ghosts. This was a real child. But <laughs> it just, it was so... Uh, We've moved on from ghosts. Representative, at least, <laughs> of what it was to me, to be a kid, to, like, just be so excited about something, and you want to share that. But I think it's the same thing with the movie. Like, you, you're so excited about it, and you want to share it, and part of growing up is, like, warning to This not... girl was 19. <laughs> she, she should have very much been past that point. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I Is wasn't it wrong past... for me to be sleeping with this woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that stuff. It hangs on. You got to. You got to learn the blood trick. Like it's this part of growing up. It's just figuring out how to not be cringe. Because like that isn't cringy of like a you know five year old. <laughs> I don't know why that got me real <laughs> Should I be sleeping with this one? Train tracks, train tracks. That's right, now get back into bed. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> uh, oh, 
Oh, you got a, we got a tear. Shit. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Too. I was I was not, uh, not, I was a very hard. fucking weird child. I my my deal was like crying when I got muddy. I wasn't a train tracks kid, but if I got like mud on my hands, I would fucking cry. Mm. That's like a diff. That's I feel like that's equally spectrumy in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> how, how old were you when that happened? I, you guys throw around I spectrum, so many different kinds of spectrum coverage. <laughs> <laughs> On the spectrum with Tom and Don. <laughs> I I think that's what it takes to do what we do. You have to you have to have a dance with the spectrum. Maybe you're not in it, but you got to be like on the. You end. have to waltz like with the I, spectrum. I, and you know I can I can, <laughs> I can say <laughs> that because I literally have the the anecdote that my parents got me checked out. Like they made sure that you know I didn't I didn't need assistance. When I was a We're kid. We're just checking up on my boy. <laughs> what's, what's going on with his head? Fucking weird. He keeps reading these jokes. These <laughs> he bad keeps jokes. telling me that he jokes. <laughs> keeps talking about furries. I don't even know what the hell that is. No. What a time. You know, that was a good laugh for me. It wasn't as good as this morning, me chuckling to myself and like actually almost in a like in crying laughing looking at that picture <laughs> of uh, of, <laughs> of <the Smeagol. laughs> We do have the same eyes. It's, pretty, pretty it's, nice. the, it's the expression it, it, it's, too. It's, 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 it's the expression. <laughs> Just withering away as time wears you down. Very, very weak chin, his, mouth breathing. His, his sunken in eyes. They're not his sunken sun, in. They're like bug, they're, bug, they're, bug. Very, they're very round and dough-like. <laughs> dreamy, even. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's the adjective I'd use. They're his, very dreamy. His grayish, his grayish green And he really, you know, I think the, uh, I think the, I mean, you're trying to project all that other stuff on me, but I really, I think you just look in Smeagol's eyes, his pretty eyes, which were really just there to convey his humanity and make you feel a little sympathy for his him. His eyes, one of them is like completely like, it looks like a, what is it called? It has like a callus over his eye or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> well, you, like you a see, cataract. You're, you're, you're seeing below the callus. Yeah, cataract. You're seeing below he has a fucking, the cataract. You're looking at those nice green, fucking green milky shire. Fog eyes. Nice green shire. <laughs> you get past irises. the cataracts, you see his soul, and that's it's right. beautiful. And that's why I was there. <laughs> that, that was that was the marvel of the CGs. How do we make this guy likable? We give him these beautiful eyes that look just like mine, and you see those you eyes. How do you make him likable? I don't think at one time in this franchise where they like, how do we keep Smeagol grounded and likable? <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely did. Fuck off. No, they that did. Was, they, that was they, like the whole plot they, of the Twin Towers no, is him deciding no, no. whether he's going to. Even in Twin Towers, whenever they were sitting there being like. It's the two towers, oh, you he, fucking he, retards. Even when it's oh, twin, the, twin the fucking Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Those, of the Rings dude, and the, the Twin Towers. The twin towers. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to take out Orthanc and the other one. <laughs> You just um, fucking fly a jetliner into them. They try to. They 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 don't ever make him likable. They just try to make you believe that it's like, oh, he's just a bumbling fucking idiot. He's not a threat. Did you? Really yeah, I don't miss think. I, the still don't think I don't Gollum, think. I still think you're trying to like him. Like, compete. What about that scene when he's literally competing with his empathetic? You hate guy? to see it, Hunter, but Don's right. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. I think they just make him look like a fucking sociopath the whole time. And the entire time, the, the audience in that movie, in that entire movie, it's always Sam. Sam is always the audience. Because by the end of the third movie, you're just like, holy fuck, let me get you there. Please, let me, let's just finish this fucking thing off. And the whole time you're looking at Smeagol just being like, you are not a good person. Because I, I always hated that arc of Frodo being like, he's a good boy, Sam. And it's just like this weird troglodyte goblin just like hopping around. No one always the weird cat, shit. Dude. I'm like, <laughs> that's me and the fucking cat, hundred <clears throat> percent, fucking coughing up. He, dude, that. Sorry, weird sidebar, but the other day the cat came into the room in the morning, and it's dark in our room, or whatever. And he gets in the bed and he's doing his thing, and I was like, man, the cat really smells like shit, <laughs> even more so than usual. <laughs> really, it's really quite terrible. And then like he gets up and my wife catches like the silhouette of something. She's like, what the fuck is that? And she turns on the flashlight and like out of this poopy. cat's asshole is like a fucking log of dried shit. And it was like encrusted around a piece of twine he had swallowed and then failed to shit out. And I was like, go, you're God. And I grabbed him and like threw him out of the room. I've never seen him look more fucking betrayed at me. And then I, I like we quickly texted Don's girlfriend and told us to take care of it. Because <laughs> it's her fucking cat. <laughs> 
Dude, it was heinous. It like tapered and it was like rock crystallized you guys, you, structure. You guys are going to have a rebirth in your friendship once you live in different places. I believe it. L- living living with people at our age sucks so much dick. Yeah. You know how pissed, even if that was my cat and you texted me and, and we we're like, hey, the cat came in there with shit on his ass. Clean it up. I'd be like, I'm not going to clean it up out of pure merit. Don't ever tell me what to do, bitch. That's what I would say. <laughs> Type deal. I'd be petty like that. That's some petty shit that I'd pull. Okay, well, I mean, so, the cat doesn't just come to us, so she'd have to deal with it eventually. Eventually, yeah. After, after he's well, that's, like, well, that's the point, is who the breaks first? Carpet and who breaks first and cleans the cat? <laughs> <laughs> or does it clean itself? Does she it had, finally she become an independent? She string out of his butthole like one of those <laughs> magician, magician <laughs> clowns. See, things. it was like one of those clown yeah, handkerchiefs. Yeah, she handkerchief. just kept pulling. <laughs> 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 yeah, very fun. Yeah. Well, well fuck. We're, Don's we're, girlfriend uh, has uh, has empathy, and I've got a switch, so I would have won that fight. I've got a switch. Do you want to fight this fight? We can fight, <laughs> fight this fight. <laughs> so, what you doing for your birthday, buddy? Yeah. What's what's the hap? For your 18th birthday. <laughs> for my 16th birthday, I'm going to go to a car dealership and I'm going to check out cars. No, I uh, I don't know. Probably nothing. Probably just chill. What kind of car are you driving? I was, Ooh, trying, I was trying to imagine what best. car you were driving the other day. And I, couldn't, dox him. Best, I couldn't settle. Best the of the best. A nice Toyota Camry. I can see it. Nice Toyota Camry. You know why? Let me, let me tell you why. Cheap, reliable, and easy on the eyes. This is the man who wants a Cybertruck. <clears throat> what do you say? Are this you, is the man who wants a Cybertruck. Are you going to get the Cybertruck? <clears throat> I think I will probably 100% get the Cybertruck. <laughs> You're like, cheap, e- <laughs> reliable, looks good. <laughs> everything, that, yeah, everything opposite is the Cybertruck. <laughs> and then Cybertruck. Yeah. Tom, did you show Don that uh, comment I sent you this morning? I don't know. Or no? last night? I can't remember. Huh? There's a comment from uh, last episode that was so good. It said, when Don was talking about his ripped jeans. Oh, the I comment, didn't show him, no. The comment says, Don didn't buy those jeans. He took them off the world's tallest scarecrow. (laughs) 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 That's pretty good. So good job, commenter. What's his name? I'll, let's there's been there's been is. some. Uh, there's always usually Captain some good Hands comments. Yeah, good to, job, just Captain to Hands. sign off, we want you guys to know that uh, Cream Crew is the only thing that keeps us going, and we read all the comments. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I'm not in this suicide cult. No, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> A lesser statement of essentially the same sentiment. We don't read as many comments in our cartoons as we do Cream Crew. I think every one of us reads impossible. every single comment on Cream Crew. So thank you for commenting. I try to, yeah. There's your encouragement. It's more realistic. <clears throat> and you should also go to the uh, subreddit and keep making mean comments about me there, too, because those are also pretty good. Memes. And if you do an- anything animated, we will repost it or retweet it. Anything like that. We love seeing the animated stuff. Or Which there was, if you look on the Cream Crew tweet, Twitter, we retweeted a 3D artist who did a reanimated uh, one of our. Yeah, what was it? It was like Nut N U T T T. I, I want to get his. Name I think right. something like that. If you look at the Cream Crew Twitter, you'll see it. Uh, anything else? Nice little shameless plug at the end there. Yeah. You couldn't have said it with less enthusiasm too. Yeah, make sure <laughs> if you want to do animations, we really love. To no, see no, that no. He, no, I, I felt, I felt the love. I felt the love, Don. Don't, don't, don't listen to him. I felt the love on that. I, I was talking about you, Hunter. Well, I, I felt it from him. Me? Too. Yeah. What? We really love. We really we were, love. We were, the, the, we were stopping being silly for a second. We were getting real. You know. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, it sounded real. I, it sounded bored. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think it was real. No, I was just saying. I thought I thought I was being. Uh, I thought I was telling people if you want to make it an animated, make it. Well, Must I am also, guys, dude. This is what real people sound like. Yeah, We're I was about to say, fake, I'm fucking, like, fake, happy, fucking. Retarded, so I, feel, I probably just missed it entirely. <laughs> Yeah, it's not one of those fake happy things where it's like, all right, guys. Also, if we can get a thousand likes or whatever, dude, that's how you grow on YouTube. You know that better than anyone. Yeah, but we're a ragtag team of rebels, and we keep it real until money gets involved. And, and we then will immediately, yeah, very this, this podcast is getting fucking bad as soon as it can. I don't know if it can yeah. after this episode, as, as, but if anyone wants to soon, advertise, yeah. <laughs> literally, any advertisers coming, we will. I'm going to sign our lives away. And if anybody's like, "Oh, they sold out," yeah, that's right, bitch. We got bills to pay, and I'm ready. <laughs> Daddy's got a cyber you know, truck I, I, to get. Yeah, I want a. I need a cyber truck, baby. I want a cyber truck. I want two cyber trucks. A cyber truck for my cyber truck. Giant like kangaroo cyber truck. <laughs> yeah, it puts it in its pouch, <laughs> and it hops around. Maybe you get nobody. Like nobody little, knows about this technology. ATV sized one you keep in the back. You know, you can roll off. Oh, they do have the the 
Tesla ATV, don't they? I think he he means well, like literally like a miniaturized yeah, Cybertruck yeah, with you, pedals on the side. Oh, I know. You, no, can, you like, drive you, around you the dress, neighborhood. Yeah, you dress up the ATV to look like a Cybertruck and you keep it in the back. Oh, I thought you were talking about because I think they had uh, during the showcasing of a Cybertruck. Oh, yeah, it did. They had a little fucking Russian doll situation, didn't they? Yeah. Because it was the deal to showcase like the tailgate and stuff as they drove up the the uh their like four wheeler with into the bed of the truck when we all get obscenely stuff. rich and buy like 300 acres of land you, are we all gonna go like mudding on quad bikes can you imagine like what a fucking world it'd be of like n like fucking incel rednecks driving around inside <laughs> doing donuts and shit in their field with cyber trucks <laughs> in the future 17 german shepherds running with them dude it'd be so epic